Okay, folks, it's your buddy Mike Messier, and I just uh, here I am in Pennsylvania, and Pennsylvania's always been pretty nice to me. So, yes, I'm going to mask up. I just went into Best Buy, and why would I go to Best Buy? Why would I do such a thing? Well, you know, I've got my laptop computer on me, and uh, for folks, maybe some, you don't take it for granted, you know, HDMI wire will hook up my laptop computer to the TV in the hotel room. So anything I have on my computer, I can watch on the TV, which is about a, twice the size of the laptop screen. I mean, it's not a great TV in the room, but it's, it's better, it's bigger than my laptop screen. Okay, folks? So for those of you that don't know such things, if you have ESPN+, Plus, YouTube TV, Netflix, whatever, on your computer and you're traveling about, Bring yourself an HDMI wire. Now, of course, I didn't think to do that before I left. Um, and I'm sure that if I dug around, I could find an extra, extra HDMI wire. But in this particular situation, I had to buy one. Now, they find young gentlemen at the store. Um, another thing, asking ye shall receive. Uh, the kid just gave me a 250 discount just because I asked him, I, you know, the, the price was overcharged. I mean, you could, this is probably a top of the line HDMI wire. If you went to the $5 general store, you could probably get a $5 HDMI wire, which would probably just do almost as good. But if you're a cinephile, if you're someone who likes to know that you're getting the best reception, the best picture, in the long run, this is probably worth it. And the kid just gave me a 250 discount. It still came out to twenty three bucks and eighty four cents. What's the tax in this state? The sales tax was a dollar thirty five. I don't know what percentage, but it's a four dollar wire. So put this in your computer bag, folks. If you're like me and you have a fucking bag of your laptop and your Chromebook or your fucking tablet, put a fucking HDMI wire in there. If you ever find yourself in a situation where you have a laptop, you have the HDMI wire, or someone else has a fucking laptop and they want to put it on a big HD TV or whatever the fuck, you'll be the goddamn hero because you'll be the asshole who thought to have a fucking HDMI wire on their person at all times. I'm just trying to help society. Um, so I go in there and I'm parking in this goddamn parking lot that says uh, Farmer's Market, okay? Can you see this? Farmer's Market. And look... <laughs> Farmer's Market is always one of those things that sound cool, and then you get there and it's a pain in the ass. Because, like, it's like, do you need a membership? Do you need to own a cow to buy a fucking food at the Farmer's Market? But in this particular situation, uh, they're offering meats and cheese. For whatever the fuck reason, me and this kid at the Best Buy had a wapois, and I said to him, hey, you ever go to that Farmer's Market? And the kid lit up like a fucking Christmas tree. He told me that all the fucking best boy, boy, best buy employees go there on the fucking weekend. They're all excited about it because they have the best macaroni and cheese, the barbecue, uh, the deli. So I'm like, I guess I'm going to the goddamn farmer's market. You know what I mean? The hotel, I have to say, folks, if you're ever in fucking North Reading or wherever the fuck I am, uh, I wish I had the money to buy this fucking hotel and hire a whole new staff, okay? You know what I mean? It's like I wish I had the money to buy the Washington football team and rename the team and hire, fire the fucking owner. And, you know, because this structure of the hotel that I'm in is very good. It's a good structure. The rooms are fine. Um, it's laid out nicely. It kind of is in the middle of nowhere. But if you drive two minutes, you're at the farmer's market. But the staff, maybe a friend of mine interjected and suggested perhaps the staff, my friend Glenn Robay, Glenn Robert, Suggested maybe the staff is afraid of getting COVID, but I don't know. I mean, I see them pretty much working on the, all the rooms in the fucking row and avoiding me. I don't know if I've done something to offend these people, um, but in any goddamn way, I always hate that term, these people. It sounds so uh, mean, but I'm going to put my fucking mask on and we're going to go on a fucking adventure together. Um, I've also discovered that my fucking phone here has 16 gigs or whatever the fuck of, of storage as opposed to 64. So I didn't realize when this person sold me this phone, they were selling me a shit phone. I always liked my phone until someone told me it was shit. So I don't know who to be angry at. Oh, it's a brand new mask. It's got the fucking aluminum foil thing or whatever the fuck. I hate these goddamn masks. 
but I wear them because I'm trying to protect myself from COVID-19 so I don't die. Maybe I should put my fucking face shield on instead. I think I should put my face shield on. It's hard to see the fucking face shield. No matter what you do, you're fucked. Maybe I'll put my face shield on. I'll really fuck people up a little bit in the ass. Um, but it's all fucking maligned. Mm, I guess I'm just gonna do this, folks. KN95. They, they give us the disease, they sell us the cure. <sighs> fucking Christ. Now my ear's all bent up. God damn it. I'm a little pissed. Now I fucking fix the god. Look at that ear. My ear's not meant to be maligned like this. I have the goddamn fucking thing, whatever the fuck, that goddamn grid thing you put in the back of your mask to fucking, so you don't fold your ears like goddamn asshole. I don't know. Assholes, I might just do the goddamn shield. Let's do it. Because I just don't feel like wearing this fucking mask right now. And uh, the world can fuck itself. And how about that? So let's put the fucking shield on. I look like a goddamn asshole. But I just don't feel like... I mean, my ear's bent up. There we go, assholes. So let's go in. I'm going to put the little protector on the phone. So if I cut out, we'll just do a part two. I don't edit these goddamn videos, by the way. People say, oh, do you edit? No, I don't have time to edit this shit. Assholes. Let's go. I'm, um, I'm wearing my 10-pound weight so that we get the exercise in. It's hard to exercise when you're in the middle of fucking Pennsylvania with all these Jesuits. Let's go for a goddamn walk. show you the farmer's market. There's people around.
was a, I was joking when I said the Jesuits, but uh, there, was, there was something going on in there. Some type of hardcore. <laughs> I don't know if they were Jesuits or Quakers. Nice people. Uh, but I just wasn't, I wasn't expecting that the, maybe it's Amish or something like that. But the whole, I don't know how much you saw, folks. It's hard to do camera work incognito, and I want to respect people's privacy, but I still want to make content for you fucks. Um, I don't know if they were Amish. I don't know what they were. Nice people. Hey, we all have our shtick, right? Okay. I don't know if... Uh, I don't know if they were breaking child labor laws or, or what the fuck. I haven't uh, sipped this fucking shake yet. Holy fuck! I'm just not sure what to say right now. I do know I've had the remnants of this fucking protein shake in my car for like a week and um, there's nothing smellier than used protein shake that's been undrunk, undrinking so I'm going to eliminate that from my life right now I'm not sure when this protein shake first came into existence but I'm going to disperse of it it's, 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 it's rancid I might have to throw away this container for those of you that make protein shakes you know how this works Oh, god awful. I might have to throw this fucking thing away or just clean it. Um, this, I've had this fucking protein shake in there for too long. Horrible. Uh, now I'm going to try this pumpkin milkshake. I'm sweating profusely because I have this 10 pound weight on my fucking ankle. Most people don't go through life uh, doing that, but I do in order to build up my muscle tone. Now we go in the goddamn vehicle. Holy fuck! I'll take off my ankle weight. Holy shit! They were <laughs> Jesuits or whatever the fucks. I don't know if they were breaking child labor laws. They might have been. Now I'm gonna use my fucking HDMI thing as a... God fuck. I'm trying to start the goddamn car without stopping the video. These videos would be better if I was more famous because then they'd be more interesting. Like the content is. If I was more famous, people would give a shit. As they are, not not people don't. It's just. Nothing attracts a crowd like a crowd, folks. Pumpkin shake from the Jesuits. It's fucking good. Never had a pumpkin shake. There was a guy who sneezed in his elbow when I was in there. That mildly offended me. Um, did they give me any napkins? Not really. That's a new thing these days, folks. You don't get napkins unless you ask. But I took some. So I'm going to blow my nose. I'll do it off camera so you don't get infected. With COVID-19. Uh, <laughs> a buddy of mine survived COVID-19, so I don't take it lightly. God damn it, that's good. I know there's a big Hameen, whatever the fuck, UFC thing on today. I'm not watching it. No offense, I just don't want to sit in the fucking room. Although I have this HDMI wire now. I could watch Khabib beat somebody up. I like UFC, I guess I would like it more if I was watching with other people, but for me just to sit there and watch it, it doesn't do much for me. This pretzel's badass though. This is a badass fucking pretzel. 
I didn't get mustard or anything. They had cheese sauce. I'm just eating it plain. I don't think the hotel room is going to supply me with anything today. We're really not a good hotel staff. How do I feel about this shake? I enjoy it. I do like this farmer's market. See, I don't know. See, this is the thing.